People who've not gotten COVID yet seem to be in an exclusive club. In fact, we learned that President Biden tested positive for COVID for the first time just yesterday. One of the reasons is the most recent and more contagious COVID variant. Joining me in the morning show, Dr. Shalika Katugaha, System Medical Director for Baptist Hospital. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Thank you for having me. So we've got BA5 out there now. It's a monster. And even if you've had COVID before and you've been vaccinated, you get it. So people go, okay, why should I go ahead and get vaccinated? And the reason is pretty simple. It may keep you out of the hospital. Correct. So uh, as of last week, BA5, this very transmissible variant, was 78% of the variant or the dominant strain that we're seeing in this country. So it is, it is, as you said, a monster in that it's very transmissible and that it evades immunity either from past infection or from vaccine in the past. But what is um, not so mean about it is that it does, there are no studies showing that it causes more severe disease. So I read a study just yesterday, as a matter of fact, that people are doing the home testing. And these home testing kits aren't necessarily catching it. And people are showing symptoms that might be a, di a bit different, sort of throat and a bit of hoarseness. So what do you do? How do you know? Do I have COVID? Do I have flu? Do I have something else? Sure. So these home tests are highly reliable when they're positive. So if you have symptoms and you test positive, then you have COVID, Omicron, most likely. If you test negative and you have symptoms, you should still isolate. And one thing that you can do is test again. You can test sequentially. You can test in 24 hours. You can test in 48 hours. If, if all this fails and you're still having symptoms and you've tested negative around three or so times, then you should certainly reach out to your primary provider to see if it could be something other than COVID or if you need another test for COVID. And, and I wanna ask you about booster shots in a second, but a lot of people avoided the vaccine in the first place. And they didn't do it because there was the mRNA vaccine, but there's now a more, a more traditional vaccine that's out there, Novavax. Yes. So. Um, just last week, the CDC approved Novavax, which we'll be seeing in the coming weeks. And so what Novavax is, is it's this more traditional type of vaccine, which is a protein vaccine. So this is the fourth authorized vaccine in the United States for COVID, but the first protein vaccine. The way these vaccines work against COVID is all the same. They, they try to get the body to have a reaction against the spike, which are the, you know, the errors that you see sticking out of the coronavirus in the picture. So the mRNA types of vaccines, they send, genetic, they send instructions, so your own cells make it. But this is more like the traditional vaccines, which we've had around Novavax, that is, mm -hmm. for 30 years, where they just inject a little piece of an inactivated protein along with something called an adjuvant, which is something that makes you have more of an immune response into the body for you, your body to make antibodies. So it's like the MMR, the TDP, TDAP, things like exactly. that that we're used to getting. It's like TDAP, like Shingrix, like the vaccine for cervical right. cancer, it, what we've seen before. All right, so let me ask you now about the booster shot. A lot of people didn't get it. They said, I don't want another shot. I'm going to wait till I go on a trip. I'm going to wait till they come out with the new flu vaccine, uh, you know, comp compilation that's going to deal with the new variants. Should I wait? You should not wait. So we are in a surge right now with BA5. And so we're seeing cases go up like this, which the, with this slope, and that's even an underestimate because people are home testing. But you'll see that in this surge, the way that we're going up with hospitalizations is like this, so a slower, slower slope. And then with um, ICU admissions is like this. And then with deaths, it's like this, a very low slope. And that's because of the vaccines and because of past infections. Our, our, as a community, we have more immunity. So. Yes, you should get the booster now. Many people are worried that they won't be able to get the new vaccine in the fall, which is more of an Omicron specific vaccine, but you will still be eligible for those vaccines, the healthcare experts say, the manufacturers say, even if you get the second booster. So, you know, right now with BA5, our real best defense is boosting. So if you're over 50 or immunocompromised, you're likely eligible for a second vaccine, the booster. And a rule of thumb is if you haven't had the vaccine this year in 2022, the booster that is, the second booster, you're probably eligible and you should go ahead and boost now. And likely that they will make that booster available to people younger than 50 sometime in the near future? There are talks right now about that happening, so it's very possible. Okay. Listen to the doctor.